Hello, I'm Mr Craven from the Any Teams Director Team, and I'm going to be talking through this quotation from A Christmas Carol. The quotation comes, of course, from Bob Cratchit in Stave 3, talking to his assembled family. It's one that neatly encapsulates many aspects of Bob's character, and the Cratchit family in general. The Cratchits in the novel are, of course, an almost perfect juxtaposition with Scrooge, Poor, where he's wealthy, celebrating Christmas despite their poverty, enjoying food and drink, living and experiencing life communally. They eat together, they play together, they celebrate, and they grieve together. And there's a part of us, as readers, which wonders whether this is closer to what Scrooge could have been had he actually married Belle. And what is it that Bob wishes the family here? A Merry Christmas, happiness enjoyment of the season, a wish to them all, conveyed through the pronoun us, with Bob the antithesis of the misanthropic isolation of Scrooge. Bob also describes them as my dears, conveying the clear love and affection he feels for his family, a feeling that is clearly reciprocated. Closing with God bless us is also worth noting. Bob is both hoping for them to be blessed, after all, in their current situation, they need all the help they can get, and he's acknowledging that he feels blessed, that they have a reason to be grateful. This also links Bob to Christmas, the celebration, in theory, of the birth of Christ, a time of humility, reflection, celebration, self-sacrifice, and so on. It's no accident that the whole family should echo the final sentiment immediately afterwards, with Tiny Tim repeating it last of all. But that also, Dickens should choose to end the whole novel with his semi-fictionalised narrator repeating the same sentiment, God bless us everyone, but clearly echoing Tiny Tim, the Christ-like figure. This isn't a challenging quotation, but it does contrast neatly with Scrooge's anti-Christmas sentiments back in Stave On. It sets up the grief and loss experienced by the Cratchit family in Stave 4, and it ultimately sets up the very ending of the novel. <laughs>